look who's come to join me in today's video. It's the little bluey in the gym. Oh, look at you. She's actually just there because she just snuck into the neighbor's garden and I told her off and told her she had to go in her basket because you're not allowed next door, are you? But yeah, anyway, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're all feeling good. Happy whatever day it is for you today. This video will be going up on a Thursday, I think, so happy Thursday if you're watching on the day. Bit of a different one for my current style, but I have done some videos like this before in the past. I was actually looking at some of my old ones to look at like how things have changed since then. But I thought today I would show you some of my favorite movements for the glutes, for the bum. I think I'm gonna show you the exercises just like kind of individually as exercises and chat through them. But you could do this as a whole workout as well, or you could just do some bits in your workout. But yeah, this is just one of the amazing things about having this gym because I'm not gonna annoy people by talking and being loud in the gym because we're here by ourselves and I love it. So I'm, I'm hoping to do some more videos kind of like this here and there. Um, I always do stuff like this in my, like my weekly vlogs and stuff as well, but I thought today, you know what? We're just gonna focus on one thing and we're just gonna talk about exercising because I blab a lot through my vlogs if you haven't already seen them. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm a blabber, but I promise today I'm just gonna talk about the bum. <laughs> and how to work the bum um, and how to get the most out of your leg slash booty workouts if you want to target your bum more so yeah I'm excited and do you know what I feel like I've learned a lot during lockdown with having less equipment and um, like not machines and I was, when I was looking at my old versions of these videos I remember doing a lot of kind of machine cable work but all of today is free weight so you could do any of this with dumbbells or a barbell i'm actually going to use dumbbells today i do have a barbell which i haven't yet used because i don't know why i haven't used it yet but i don't know i feel like it's been a few months since i've used a barbell i'm a bit scared to now i've got one so we're going to focus on dumbbells today but trust me if you do my live workouts with me on instagram you'll recognize some of these combos but also you don't need much to have a really good workout and it's taught me that during lockdown, like we don't need all the fuss. We could just do things with, you know, less equipment. And I really like free weight moves, so. Right, that's enough blabbing. I'm already blabbing. So, first off, we're gonna start with an activation warm-up circuit. So I've been doing a lot of my glute focus workouts starting with this. I always start with activation, so if you don't know what activation is, it's when you warm up the glutes, essentially wake up the glutes, ready for your workout, so, um, yeah, I mean, if you're not like glute dominant and you, f you struggle to feel movements in your glutes, this should help. And yeah, it's just a great way to start a booty workout. I always tend to do my activation circuits non-weighted, but I usually use a resistance band. The best ones I find are the BND. Um, so I'll link these in the description box. It's actually my friend Grace's brand. She's fabulous and they are literally amazing bands. So I would, I just 100% recommend activation. Is key. You can do the moves without it, but I do just think it's so much better. Right, so let me put you actually on a different spot so you've got a better, an awkward angle of really low. I'm also having a crazy scientist hair day, so please excuse that. <laughs> but it's fine, we're working out. So the first move, we're just gonna do some side to side squat walks. So with these, they're pretty straightforward. They're really, really effective. And um, what I would just say is, when you're stepping, I don't know why I'm slapping my bum, but when you're stepping into each side, really step into it and you should feel your glutes really starting to wake up. I'll do around 20 reps here. <laughs> and you can quench this fire. No, no. Second part of our circuit, we're gonna go straight into some glute bridges. I'm gonna tilt you down again because we're getting on the floor now. So we're just literally gonna do these non-weighted again with the band. You wanna kind of have a little bit of a wider stance if you wanna feel the, the effects of the band. So you're pushing against it. It should help you target your side glutes a little bit more. I tend to do these as well on my heels. You don't need to, but it's just what I enjoy. And we're just gonna thrust up, squeeze at the top, really think about the bum. Mind to muscle, muscle? Mind to muscle connection is so important when targeting your bum. I know it sounds silly, 
but just think about it then while you're do doing the contractions. Okay, 20 reps here, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go into the last move in this little circuit. Let me just check what it is. Okay, we're gonna do some kickback pauses. So I like to do my kickbacks where I will pause briefly at the top in the squeeze. Um, I just feel it's a little bit more effective. And again, this one's really good with a band. Otherwise, it doesn't feel quite as strong. You've really got to focus on the squeeze, but it's still doable. But if you get a band, it's great. So you just want to kick back, squeeze that glute, and come back down. We'll hold it briefly for just two seconds and back down. So here we're going to do 10 reps per leg, so it's 20 reps again. should feel should just feel your glutes kind of on fire but I will usually rest them for like 30 seconds and I'll repeat that probably two more times okay we're gonna move on to the next bit sure I've never done a video like this where I feel like I'm properly teaching through what I'm doing quite enjoy it I've got really into teaching again since doing my live workout so every time just then when I was doing the um, reps I was gonna go keep going guys okay next Part, we're going to go into a technique called German volume training so this is essentially where we're going to do 10 sets of one exercise and we're going to do 10 reps of each set so 10 times 10 100 reps it sounds horrendous but it's such a good way to start your workout it's such a good it's just such a good technique I love it I've done it for so long with different exercises you could do this with squats you could do this with leg press I've done it with Bulgarian split squats which is savage and I've done it with reverse lunges you can do it with anything but i love doing this with hip thrust i feel like it's just a great way to get your bum on fire we're going to do this with a dumbbell today you could do this with a barbell and when i was at the gym before lockdown i would be was doing it with a barbell but what we're going to do is we're going to have our shoulder blades against the bench and what we're going to do is we're just going to thrust up squeeze at the top Again, with the band, you can have the band, you don't need it, but if you do, I would probably suggest having a slightly wider stance so you are pushing against it. And then we're gonna come back down. So we're gonna come up, squeeze, hold it briefly, and back down. And also the other thing I would say is try to keep your chin tucked in so you don't strain the neck too much, or at all. <laughs> don't strain your neck at all. I'm not going to show you 10 sets because that would be extremely boring but I'll usually rest for about 30 seconds 30 to 45 seconds and then go into the next set so it can actually be very quick although it sounds like it would be very long um, it can be quite quick and I would suggest even timing the rest on this so you don't start sitting around on your phone or anything and losing focus next little section I'm going to show you of another favorite little glute combo is a superset so if you don't know what a superset is it's where we have two exercises back to back with no rest i'm gonna pop my band back on here you don't need it again but i quite like i've actually quite enjoyed doing lunges with a band since lockdown i'm gonna do some reverse lunges so you can do this with a barbell or one dumbbell up here but i like to do it two to the side so what we're gonna do is we're just literally can you see my feet? I think so. We're going to lunge backwards and we're going to come back up. Now again, I often add a pulse here and um, just make sure that your legs go far back enough and as you're coming up, you're putting the weight into your heel. So as you lunge up, lunge down, as you come up, put the weight in the heel on the front foot. So we're going to do eight reps per leg here and then I'll show you the other bit. we're gonna go straight into we're gonna pop our weights down and do this body weight and we're just gonna do the same thing but as a constant pulse so we're gonna bring the leg back and we're gonna pulse 
for eight on each side. I love that little superset. Right guys, so the next little exercise combo I want to show you which I love for the glutes is a sumo, well I call it a sumo squat trio. So there's three parts to this. It's kind of a tricep where it's three exercise, well it is, yeah it is a tricep, three exercises back to back, but it's kind of the same exercise with adjustments on the each three. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with just a sumo squat so wide stance, wider than a normal squat. You want your toes to be have a slight point out. I don't know if you can see them. So toes at a slight point out. Um, I'm doing this with a dumbbell again, but you could do this with a barbell. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna squat down and we're gonna bring the weight up and come back down and really keep the weight in the heels here. You don't, I mean, usually I kind of lift my toes just sort of, subconsciously because the weight is just in my heels so you just want the weight to stay in the heels the whole time we're gonna do eight reps here I don't know how many I've done now seven eight and then we're gonna go straight into eight pulses so same thing just pulsing constantly four five six seven eight okay now we're gonna pop the weight down and we're gonna do eight sumo stance squat jumps so same stance, your legs literally don't even move in this. And we're just gonna jump up. Five, seven, eight. So that's my little sumo squat tree. I love that one. Um, I came up with that one in lockdown, but I love that. I've got two more things to show you, which I love. Next, we have another super set. So two exercises back to back. So what we're gonna do now, we're actually gonna have a sumo stance style exercise again. However, this is a glute bridge. And also just to go back on all of these moves, all the little combos, I tend to do around three to four sets, depending on how many I put in my session. I'm not currently doing all the sets right now. I just wanted to film the little combos and exercises I really like um, with some just little tips to show you how you can target your glutes more in them. So I hope you don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to the super set. What we're gonna do now is a sumo stance glute bridge. So that's the first exercise, and then we're gonna do a sumo stance glute bridge pulsing. So with the sumo stance glute bridge, we have the same stance as the sumo squat. So wide stance with a slight point out with the feet, but we're gonna be lying back, obviously. Let me get my weight on. Okay, so we're gonna lie back, just like a normal glute bridge, but with the wide stance. And we're gonna thrust up and squeeze the glutes on each rep. So we're gonna do 10 reps here. Okay, so that's the 10 reps. We're gonna, and then we're gonna prop our weight down. You could keep it on, but I tend to prop it down then. And we're gonna do 10 pulses constant. So the same stance, just constant pulsing at the top. That's it. I literally love that little superset as well. I often do that as a hip thrust as well with the pulsing superset. Okay, I have one more thing to show you because I have started finishing most of my workouts with a finisher. Today what I'm going to do, I often do 100 rep finishes at the moment where I won't do any weight but it'll all be body weight and it's just a great way, I personally think, to kind of burn out and finish on a high. So what I'm going to do today, because it's my current favourite, other than walking lunges for 100 reps. But we're not doing that today, because that is quite quaddy. Is we're gonna split the 100 into 50-50. So the first 50, we're gonna be doing curtsy lunges. And then the, the second 50, we'll shake off for about 10 seconds after those 50 curtsies. And then we're gonna do 50 glute bridges. So what we're gonna do with the curtsy, we're gonna start standing, and we're gonna alternate each leg each time, but you're gonna lunge the leg behind but diagonally. So if you can see, I'm gonna bring this leg diagonally and lunge and then we're gonna swap sides each time. You should really feel the glute working on this leg that is planted at the front. Um, this is really good for the side glutes, this one. And just make sure you really lunge down nice and far and bring that leg nice and wi widely, <laughs> nice and far behind as well. 
Body weight, you could include a band, you can include weight if you want, but usually in my finishes, I don't tend to add weight. So we're literally just gonna lie back, thrust up, squeeze, and lower. at the moment that are great for the bum just great for the glutes i'm trying to bring you closer it's not working it just ways that i am currently planning my beauty sessions so yeah i really hope you enjoyed i hope there's something there that you might try um if you do want to actually do any of these kind of workouts with me i do my instagram lives on my instagram at megan grubb same name as here but yeah we do sessions like that all the time really fun and everyone's so lovely so let me know come by come have a little join i really hope that there were some things here that were helpful and some maybe some little tips on how you can target your glutes more in certain moves and let me know if there's anything else like this you want me to film in the future now we have this little space which is just amazing yeah i'll hopefully see you in the next video thank you so much for watching the next video there's gonna be something very exciting i'm gonna tell you so please come back because i have something very exciting that i've been wanting to tell you about for like 10 weeks now but i haven't been able to yet so please come back for monday's weekly vlog it's exciting um but yeah anyway love you guys so much thank you for watching and i shall hopefully see you soon